Hello guys and welcome to another part of my 7 days to die tutorial how to do everything today I'm going to explain you how you can um, adjust the server admin.xml this will work for your uh, server so the dedicated server as well as the um, server that you're going to set up on your local client um, the fun pimps have changed something in alpha 12 uh, which I actually don't understand but yeah um, because they have changed the location of the save game files this uh, was confusing me and plenty of other p people as well so before uh, before uh, alpha 12 you were going to documents and then there was seven days to die and what else was there uh, give me a second seven days to die saves so like this here and then never scan random gen and all your saves were in in there in the documents folder but now they have it uh, moved over to um, the C users and so on uh, I'm going to show you how you can figure out that on on your PC so this is why I have it open twice here um, so you want to go to your PC where you have your local uh, uh, hard disk drives and uh, yeah double click C then go to users then go to your name that your computer uh, is logged on to so if I don't know from and for example my uh, computer um, no my username uh, of the computer is Hydrox TV so double click it then you go to app data if you don't see app data here then you need to click on view over at the right side at options then click on view and here hidden files and folders usually the default option is don't show hidden files folders or drives then you won't see it i'm going to show you that you that the uh, app data now bam there it is it is gone now so i can't access the app data anymore and as i said so you just uh, switch it over there and then you see it again so uh, go into app data then it is roaming then it is seven days to die as you can see there are plenty of other stuff as well and then do you have the basic stuff that you probably know already uh if not that's no problem but yeah um yeah in the uh, seven days to die saves folder or on your uh, web server it can be uh, somewhere differently but uh if you know how to change the uh, save game folder. <clears throat> I don't think you will need this guide anymore. So yeah <laughs> So but yeah, whatever um, Go to the server admin .xml. You can open it. So if you have uh, not installed any uh, other program the, uh, win oh, the Windows will open it in notepad It will look like this But I definitely don't like notepad um, This is why I have installed notepad notepad plus plus let me actually open a browser window for you and show you the program. Notepad++. And here we go. This is the notepad. This will. Uh, this is how it. Uh, how it will look like in the. Um, in the. In the. In the editor, and you need to go to download. But of course, I'm giving you the link in the description of this. Um, video as usual so you don't even need to find this one here i will give you the link to towards this here um the reason why you should have it uh, i'm going to open this here now it's going to open on the other screen close all but this so there we go because you need uh, now see that everything is a little bit uh, yeah colorful and uh, something is highlighted and uh, all that stuff so the readability is way higher than of course this year so i would really recommend uh, using notepad notepad plus plus so usually this here let me only get rid of these because this is my own one so this is my Steam ID over here. I'm going to explain you uh, in a second how you can fig figure out your own. Because usually it looks like... Let me remove it like this. No, that was wrong. There we go. So usually um, uh, if you start it, uh, if you start your server for the very first time, it should look like this. Uh, so now you need to get rid of this part here. So the exclamation mark, minus, minus, and the space bar. Oh, actually, no, I'm wrong. The whole thing. So even the um, greater than. 
No, lower than. This is the lower than. I always get confused. I don't know. Uh, with the lower and the greater than. So this is the lower than, I think. And this is the greater than. So you need to get rid of this, what I highlighted over here. As well as over this here. I could do that, actually. Let me, let me do it. And then you'll see that something is going to change. Because everything that is in uh, Notepad++, which is green, is a comment. So uh, the, uh, the, the browser or the, um, the game will not execute these things. So for example, um, yeah, he would, even if, he, if it, everything would be right, so even if this would be your Steam ID, um, if it looks like this here, and this here is your Steam ID, it won't take you as an admin. It won't make you an admin at all, because it is a comment. So, uh, this therefore, you are going to change the number here in the middle, as well as, as I said, get rid of these, but I have prepared this, or, yeah, I have, I have had it already, so I'm going to get back, so there we go. So, this is my Steam ID, and by the way, as you probably know by now, you can show the Steam ID to everyone, so even, uh, uh, yeah, guys that you don't know, because um, Steam ID, you can see it on the internet anyway. So even if you're not friended or something, I can figure out your Steam ID, yeah, so it's no secret or something. So no, nothing like a password or your uh, login name. So, um, yeah, so it has to be like this. So over here you want to put in all the admins that you have on your server. So, even if they're just moderators or something, just put them here as well, because the only difference is going to be the permission level. The permission level of zero means that you're an admin. Zero is equal to admin. A normal user will start with a permission level of 1000, which is he has like no rights except for chatting in the chat box. That's it. And of course playing on the server, but this has nothing to do with the permission system. Um, yeah, and that's, so, so that's basically is it. So, but of course I want to be admin. So, I am going to take Kinyayus, this is one of the developers, so this is actually his, uh, Steam ID. And make him, because just for, as an example, and I'm going to make him uh, a normal user. Or actually, no, I'm going to make him a, a, a moderator. So, and... I am just putting in now a 100. Just live with it, live with it right now. I'm going to explain it uh, soon as uh, why I did it, uh, why I put 100 in there. So right now, if I start my server now, I am the admin. As I said, you have uh, my Steam ID over here, and Kinyayu is my moderator. So next step, um, or before I'm going on, I am going to explain you how you can figure out your Steam ID. There are yeah, kind of two ways. So the first way is open your Steam, then go to your profile. So hover over your name. Of course, it's not Hydrox TV on YouTube. It should be something different. Um. So then go to, as I said, to your profile. Wait until it's loaded. Then right click and view source. And you see, like, yeah, plenty of programming stuff that you probably don't understand. What you can do is uh, Control F, search for ID, find next once, find next twice, find next three times, and then it should say Steam ID, and then this awkward number here. And if you compare this number here, I'm going to copy this here. Uh, copy. If you compare this number to the number over there. 7, 6, 5, 6, 11, and so on, 7, 6, 5, 6, 11, and so on, and the back is 6204, 6204, so it is my Steam ID, even though this was the, uh, the, the words, um, or the, yeah, the, I think it's quickest, but yeah, the, the the readability of this thing here is quite bad, and if you hit uh, find next to it too often, uh, you won't find the number properly. So there's an easier way for uh, yeah guys who have no idea. Um, so it is Steam IO, as far as I know. Let me take a look. Oh no, Steam ID dot co it is. Steam ID 
Io. As you can see, I have already opened this once in a while. So, and here you can input your Steam ID, even though of course you want to figure that out. You can put in your um, your username, even though of course other people could have the same username as well. If you, especially if you if your uh, username is like Superboy one two three, uh, I don't know. There are plenty of millions um, who are playing on Steam as well who could have the same name. Superboy123. So, um, you want to go to your Steam profile. This is still the same step. This is why I still have it open. Right click, copy page URL. This one here, if you did not see it. And then you put it in here. So, control uh, V or right click and uh, paste if you want to. And then you can look it up. It should look like this here steamcommunity.com slash ID. Then your name or a number. Uh, if you you'll see the number is actually going to be your Steam ID, but yeah, the, this is e as I said the easier way. Then click on look up, and then you will f uh, get plenty of information. As I said, all the information can get uh, seen by everyone. Even though right now I'm not uh, in game and clicker here, so this is a little bit stupid. But yeah, the uh, more uh, the important stuff that we we need is over here. Steam ID 64. Don't go for the Steam ID. Steam ID 3. This is no nothing we're going to use in uh, Seven Days to Die. Um, we need the Steam ID 64, and as you can see, it is still the 6204. This is a good indicator. Usually for me, that's mine. 6204 at the end. So this is how you figure out your Steam ID. So, let's go on, and of course, on your server you want to have permissions. So, for example, DM means that you can uh, put on God mode even though the cheat mode is off, or that you can teleport on the map and stuff like this. So, um, this is the same procedure, procedure as uh, over at admin, so you need to get rid of the first port in front, and you need to get rid of the last port at the end, uh, part at the end. The same goes for kick. And the same goes for say, even though say, as you can see here already, I wasn't lying, so say is that you, the ability to uh, speak in the chat is 1000. So if you change this here to, for example, 999, um, the people who are connecting to your server are not able to use the chat anymore. So, but yeah, of course you don't, usually you don't want that. So, um, yeah. Don't uh, change it at all. Uh, you can just leave it at uh, commented, then it is going to use the default value, and the default value is uh, permission CMD, say permission level 1000, and that's it. So it is like this here. So this is kind of the default value, even though, of course, as I said, it's going to be a comment, but as I said, he is going to d d use the default value. So, um, of course, you can add here permissions like hundreds of permissions, um, you need to take a look in the console of Seven Days to Die. You just type in help. Uh, I actually can show, yeah, I can show you. Oh, yeah, ni nice. My server is right now up, so I can show you that, what I mean. Um, it is, uh, I think, 20, f is it this one? Yes. I'm not going to uh, tell you my password, of course. I think it's this, yeah, there we go. So, I hope there are no players right now online that I just show their, I don't know, IP or whatever, something it doesn't look like. So, um, you can type in help in the console, and then it will give you plenty of stuff. Uh, I think the, he's going to scroll down. No, he's not scrolling down anymore. Okay. Um, so, you can see here, admin, uh, ban, buff, chunk cache, debuff, debug menu, kick, kick all and so on. So all of these commands, so even the short ones, so for example you see here get time gt, so this means that it, you can write it completely, get time, or you can just use the small version, where is it, there we go, over here, or you can use the small version gt, for example. The same goes for um, st, which is set time, I can show you that, there we go, here, if you want to change, oh, if you want to change the, 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 the time, then you can use ST. So, and I am uh, lazy, so this is why I'm going to do that over here. So, you just copy the whole phrase here. Of course, you need to change the command. As I said, you can write down set time or, as I said, ST. 
So, and with a permission level of 1, uh, you should change this, of course, to the permission that you want to have. So, and here comes uh, here comes the, the 100 um, in place. So, as I mentioned, 0 are the, uh, the, ser uh, the server admins. They are allowed to use every single command. So, uh, if you put one command on... Uh, Permission level one, two, three, four, one million. They will be able to execute it. So because zero, as I said, is the lowest value, of course, and everything that is higher is executable. The same goes for this, uh, for this uh, mod here. So I'm going to change it a little bit. So and then I'm going to explain you that. So there we go. Now you see I have a kick function, which is permission level 99, and a set time function, which is 100. Um, so, Kinyayu now here, as my moderator, can not kick, because 99 is lower than 100. This means that he doesn't have the permission to kick because um, his permission level has to be lower than the actual uh, permission level on the function that he wants to use. But he can use set time because his permission level is at least equal to the permission level of set time. So if we change the kick now to 120 for example, he is allowed to do that again because 120 is higher than um, the the moderator. I think you get it by now. So uh, yeah, as I said, you can do it with plenty of stuff. And uh, if you're using um, Alux server fixes, um, let me show you that Alux server fixes. If you don't know that yet, I'm going to do another tutorial on this one here because this will uh, be too much uh, of. Um, what is it to explain in one uh, video? So uh, if you click on commands, you can see here he has give list item list un uh, list known player and I don't know plenty of other show inventory and one million other uh, functions. So um, you can even use these. So if you have installed um, uh, what is it? Alex server fixes, you can even put these things into your permission files. Um, but he is, I'm going to scroll up here, you see here, for in-game console, control panel and telnet. It can be, I don't know, I haven't tested everyone yet, it could be that some are just usable in telnet or control panel. I don't think so, but it could be, so uh, don't nail me on that if uh, it's not true. Uh, as I said, I haven't tested them all because I don't use them all, there are plenty of, uh, um, uh, what is it? I'm lacking of words. Functions? Yes, that's the word I was looking for. So there are plenty of functions uh, that I'm not, not using at all. So, but definitely all of the functions that you can see in the in the help menu here, where is it? Over all these can be put into the uh, permissions uh, thing. So let's go on. Uh, there is a white list over here and a black list. So, the white list is if you put one Steam ID in there, no one else is allowed to join the server except for the guys on the white list. So, if you get rid of this here and put, for example, your own, in this case, this is of course, this is my Steam ID, and if I start the server now, only I am allowed to join the server anymore, no one else. Except for you are going to copy this here and paste it multiple times and then put in different players. So if I, for example, go for Steam ID, this guy here and put so Kinyayo in this in this case. Um, now Kinyayo and I am allowed to join. So if you don't want that to happen, just let me get remove it every every single one. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. So if you want to uh, allow like everyone to join on your server, just leave it like it is. And the blacklist is something like the other way around. So everyone is able to join you except for the guys on the blacklist. So um, if you, for example, execute the command here, which is ban, 
Then the the, um, the player's name, for example, Hydrax TV on YouTube. Of course, I'm not going to ex execute it. There we go, Hydrax TV on YouTube. By the way, if you're going to ban someone who has uh, space bars in his name, make sure that you're quoting the name. That's usually a very good idea. Um, yeah, to find the player. Uh, ban Hydrax TV on YouTube, I don't know, one year. I think this is the um, command. I'm not 100% sure about the um, function anymore because I haven't been playing 7 days for so long. And I haven't been banning people, that's even better. Uh, so if I'm going to execute this one here now, on my server, which is right now not on my PC, so you won't see it over here in this file here. Um, he is going to add this here, I'm going to show you. Steam ID, give me the Steam ID. There we go. Um, I don't know exactly how they're doing it, but I don't know. For example, one year, so right now it says 6th of July 2015. So I'm pretty sure it is like 07 slash 06 slash 2015, no 2016 because it's one year. And I don't know, let's imagine we have, as you can see on the bottom right side, 520 right now. It would be something like 1720 and I don't know, 5 seconds or something. So something like this. So the unbend end would look like this. It could be a little bit different, but it's, it's quite close. This is uh, how it would look like in the blacklist um, then if you ban someone. So if someone gets banned, uh, even though it was an accident, even though I have no idea how you can ban someone on accident, but yeah. Um, then you need to figure out his Steam ID. As I told you already, you can go to Steam ID IO and figure out his Steam ID and then you search for it in your um, server admin.xml file. And then you can unban him. Um, if you have run the command multiple times, so if you banned him, like, I don't know, the first uh, time you ba just banned him but did not give uh, any, uh, like, um, what is it? Uh, like, no year or no month or no week or no days or something, so no um, uh, integer. Uh, then you, I think he is going to get banned for like 24 hours, I think, that's, I think, the default value. And if you uh, ban him afterwards, once more, for like one year, there will be multiple entries. So, for example, um, as I said, let me change it right now. So, we just, as I said, we banned him just without uh, giving the value of the integer. So he is going to get unbanned on the 7th of July on 1720, but then uh, you um, prove that he has been cheating. So the first ban was just getting rid of him in the first place, and then investigate. Even though usually you should do it the other way around, but yeah, if you're following that kind of politics, then uh, yeah, you just, as I said, you ran, the, um, you ran the, the ban command, and then you say, okay, he was cheating as well, then you have multiple... Um, entries of, of the same guy. So, as I said, you have the Steam ID here, uh, as it looks right now. And um, you, of course, need to get rid of all of them then, if you want to unban this guy here any, uh, again. But yeah, I think you get it by now. And uh, I'm I think we're done. I think there's nothing else uh, left to the server admin XML, uh, even though it was quite a long video. 23 minutes just for one file. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you like what I'm doing here or if I helped you out. Helps me a lot and I, of course, appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, see you in the next episode of 7 Days to Die, How to Do Everything.